guys, welcome back to another Klaus on vacation video. Today we are working on decorating Romeo Monty's room. You can see right off the bat I deleted the bathroom door because I knew I put one outside already and I was not going to have this, any kind of space in this room because we've already lost nine tiles essentially which I don't know why but if you look that room, that little square room where the TV is and everything is not painted and I don't understand which is weird. Also, another unfun thing about Romeo's room is the lighting. So, because there's that weird a hallway, not a hallway thing going on, technically the game sees his room as a room inside of a room, so it's completely dark, even though he has windows. Not the best, but we make do, and I mentioned in Mercutio's video that because there are walls outside, like trying to have walls half up and decorate his room was a nightmare. Again, did my best, but was not it was not super fun. So I still wanted to do mid-century. Again, I just see the Monty house in general as mid-century, so I wanted to lean it into that for Romeo, but I see him as being a lot more modern in terms of like style. Like he would just like more modern stuff than pure authentic mid-century kind of thing. And I knew I wanted to have a couch in his room because he is a romance sim, so he definitely is going to want to make out on the couch, so it's just going to be a thing that he's going to want to do. I actually did not want to give him a double bed. I had a bed picked out already, and especially with the fact that his room is so tiny, there was just no way, so he had to have the couch. Um, yeah, I really didn't... I guess I didn't have a lot of thoughts about Romeo going into this. like. I just, I was like, well, you know, he's he's dating Juliet, he's a romance sim, he's a player, whatever, but he kind of isn't, and like Mercutio, he ended up being rather soft in the end. They're definitely two soft boys, and I'm fine with that. Um, one thing that I really ended up leaning into is art, because they all have the same kind of teen posters, but just, I like the idea that he's really into art. Maybe he started drawing as a way to like get the attention of girls but then he realized that he kind of liked it so now he paints and draws and does things like that same for like he's got a guitar because that's what hot guys are supposed to do is play the guitar but just like he's also kind of into it not as much as the painting that's definitely something that i think is one of the things he's more interested in just on his own but yeah, he's a fine arts hipster hoe. Let's just let's just be real. We all have seen that beanie. We know. We know what's up. I also see him as being a bit of a grandma's boy. Like Mercutio, I don't really see him really liking his grandparents. Like he doesn't hate them or anything like that. But he just like they're not his favorite people either. Like they're just his family. Whatever you know. Romeo, I see him as being a big grandma's boy, like, he will do whatever his nana says, and that's that. I think he helps her a lot, like, in terms of cooking and clean, just whatever she needs. I don't think he's necessarily very smart, but he's kind, and he does have a sense, like, a real sense of right and wrong. Um, Mercutio, I had to kind of be really into animals, so then I got this idea that maybe Romeo started building birdhouses because Mercutio told him about like baby birds in the park needing homes. So Romeo started, you know, it was a school project kind of thing. He's very much the kind of person that doesn't, he doesn't have the initiative to do things on his own, but he'll go do something because somebody else asks him to or because it's a project. So he started building these birdhouses and then he realized he enjoyed working his, with his hands and kind of started getting into woodworking. That sort of thing. Like, that's really his energy is. He won't go out and find it on his own, but things tend to find him. So, painting. He wanted to get girls to like him and realized he liked it. Woodworking. He His brother guilt-tripped him about baby birds that didn't have homes, and it made him cry. And so, in the background, you can hear Judy with a rope. She is still out and about and nonsensey. It's a big rope, too. Oh, goodness. Okay. But yeah, like, that's just the kind of person that Romeo is. Like, he will never get into anything on his own. Same with the guitar, too. I, I, if I had to wager, one of his friends started playing guitar because he's like, yeah, chicks dig guitars. And Romeo's all, I need a guitar. <laughs> like, that's just how he is. Yeah, and he makes sculptures now for you know, his friends and family and everything. There's a little wooden bunny in Mercutio's room. 
I did give him medication for cold sores because it made me laugh, and also diet pills because I think that's something that doesn't get kind of discussed a lot, but I think Romeo would have a lot of, like, he would be very body conscious. I think the Romeo, the Romeo, gosh, the Monty family, because they're, like, they're cooks, or maybe they have a vineyard or something, like, along those lines. I could see maybe Romeo having problems keeping his weight down to what he thinks it should be, especially because... You have an Italian grandmother. She's feeding you pasta 24-7. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like... And I don't think body issues with men are discussed very much, or as much as they should be. We see Hollywood actors, like, when they get really ripped for a role, and they're, they're just like, yeah, and I'm like, he is dehydrated? Like, do you know what he probably had to go through, A, to get even close to that, and B, to look like that on that particular day? Not good. It's not good. Like, it's not healthy. I know people think that it's healthy, but it's actually grueling and really difficult, and we should not push anyone to push their bodies that way if they don't want to. Like, I mean, if that's what someone wants to do, good on them, but, like, men also have body image issues that just don't get discussed. I'm, I'm not, like, on a pedestal. I just... It was something I could see Romeo struggling with, and that's why I ended up keeping the diet pills as just part of his room. I give him a little boombox, because of course if he's going to have a girl in his room, he's going to want to play music. I'm sure it was also Mercutio's requirement. I was like, listen, I don't care what you do, but like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I'm, I'm sure he's glad he at least has the bathroom between them. I love those cabinets. I really wanted to use them, but they don't. I end up removing them. Spoiler alert. But I do love them. The gray, with like the marbly top and the metal leathery pull thingy. I don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous. I also see him, since he got into woodworking, he starts like making toys for kind of underprivileged kids as well. No one really probably made him do that, it was just more he was making the birdhouses and then he's like, I wonder if I can make other things, and branched out in that way. And I'm sure dating Juliet, she probably brought it up like, hey, you can donate to charity, you big idiot. I actually really like their relationship. I know it's very cliche and it's it's intended to be. But I see Juliet definitely as the go-getter, as the one who, you know, she runs her family's empire with like an iron fist, but she also really does like Romeo. And not in like a little girl, school girl crush kind of way. Like she just genuinely, she knew he was soft even though he played tough. And she's like, nope, nope, we're going to keep this one. This is a soft boy. He's going to take care of the kids eventually. He's going to be the stay-at-home dad. It'll be great. <laughs> she picked him out. She pegged him immediately. She knew what he was. And I just, yeah, I like that dynamic. I think it's funny. I would love to see, I don't know what you guys do with them. I've never actually really played through Veronaville too much. I'm sure when I unlock it in my Uberhood, we're going to see what I do with them. But I do love the idea of them staying together and her just, you know, reaching the top of the business career and Romeo staying at home and painting all day and raising kids. I think he'd be fine with that. Because again, I don't think he like has ambitions on his own. He just kind of does what he's told and he doesn't have a problem with that. Like it doesn't bother him when people are like, hey, you should go do this. And he's like, okay, I guess I will. I wanted to include the toy making thing too, but like again, his room is just so small. And I had so much stuff that I wanted to put in here. You have no idea. Because I wanted him to have like a smooth little setup of like his seduction setup. Because he's the kind of person that would have a very cheesy seduction setup with the candles and everything. It just didn't work. I don't even think I get a wardrobe in here. I might. I don't know. It's, it's a tight squeeze. In terms of like toys and things, I was gonna maybe put one or two things, but I really do think Romeo would have purged everything as soon as he was a teenager because it's embarrassing and he would never want anybody to find it. And oh gosh, no. Whereas Mercutio, softer and sentimental. Like I don't think Romeo's sentimental is the thing. Like he's soft, but I don't think that he's terribly sentimental. And I think he's a bit thick when people are sentimental, like he doesn't get it. He's like, why? Like Mercutio is keeping a toy that he had when he was a kid. He's just Romeo's just like, but, but why? I don't understand. I don't understand why you need to keep that. It's it's you don't need it anymore. I think that 
that's just about it in terms of just like the random categories. Then we get to get to Deco, which is my favorite. The layout of this room was hard, but before I even got to the layout, I knew that I was going to have to go to war with the wood tones. Because again, warm wood tones and just this game, all the Sims games, just like trying to find something that worked was going to be such a challenge. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I kind of was leaning towards reds for him because he is dressed in red and he's got like the blue hat and everything. I thought maybe reds and blues would be fun, but I wasn't too sure exactly what I wanted to do. Same with Mercutio, it just kind of ended up with, with the oranges and the purples, but that wasn't, like I didn't start out going, yeah, we're gonna do these. I like that little end table though, I think it works really well. The couch was also hard because I was like, I don't know, like it's gotta be a really comfy couch. It's gotta be the most comfortable couch me turning on the lights because I'm just like, oh, this freaking space. I ended up pulling in the lights earlier than I normally would because I needed to turn them on because the space was so dark because the stupid wall. In retrospect, I should have just bulldozed the walls because I don't care, but like, yeah. So I was trying to find a couch, like I wanted red, but I didn't want like too red. I wanted kind of like a muted sort of red. And that one in the front I liked, but I didn't like the wooden arms. Like I felt that would be counterproductive to said Romeo seduction. So I was like, eh, I don't really want that. I liked this lamp. I also like this square lamp. It looks like those ones you get that where like you touch one at end and your friend has another one and it lights up if somebody's touching it kind of thing. I think he's just the right kind of cheesy that him and Juliet would both have one, so I'm gonna make sure that I put one in her room, in theory. Hopefully I remember, but I should. I should remember. We'll see. We'll see if I remember. You can hold it against me if I don't. But yeah, something like that. And then I was trying to find a desk for him, and I had a lot of desk options. But I, I knew, again, I was like, the wood tones are gonna be really hard. Because if I can't get the right wood tone, it doesn't matter how cool the desk is it's not gonna work and I was not about there was no way I was gonna just exit the game and recolor that, that wasn't gonna happen nope 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 I also didn't want the really big desks even though they look cool he doesn't have enough space like he just doesn't this room is so tiny and it has a big chunk taken out of it so it's actually even tinier that's right Judy I liked this built-in desk. I thought maybe I could do something with that. Yeah, there was just, there was so much like furniture that I just wanted to cram into here. Cause I knew I probably wasn't gonna do any other mid-century rooms. So it was like, whatever I'm gonna use, I need to use in one of their rooms. It's hard, it's hard when you have so much you wanna put in this tiny little space. There's small little space. Okay, so we cut it forward just because I struggled for a while, but this is the final layout. Sorry about the dog. I wanted that big canvas thing. I felt like that was really important. Just because he, he paints a lot. I'm just going to talk in between rope shakes. Yeah, like he paints a lot, so given the output, there needs to go somewhere. I also like that I have guitar cases rather than like the guitar out in the open. Judy! Here we go. We'll, we'll bribe the dog with pets. Yeah, I like having the case instead of having it out in the open because most people don't keep their instruments just out. Like that's just not a thing that people tend to do. Now I'm kind of picking out some birdhouses. I didn't want like a ton out, but just some birdhouses and some carved figurines that he can have on display above his work tape workbench thing. 
work table, I don't know. I didn't want to do like crazy complicated ones because he's not meant to be like a master kind of carver. He just, he started doing it and he enjoys it. I was going to put it over there, but then it was clipping and I didn't like that. So then I put it above that little pegboard thing. I love that little mustachioed dude. Like he's perfect. He's perfect. He's perfect. So yeah, just some birdhouses that he's finished and hasn't taken to the park yet. Some cart figurines. I decided to make him some fun colors, just why not? I think this one ends up being like blue. Yeah. And then he also had these like carved cutting boards. Again, just projects that he's worked on. And then lots and lots and lots and lots of clutter. Because he's a mess. Like, both of them are so messy. Okay, we got the drill and all the other little tools. I'm surprised by how much I was able to fit on that wood woodworking table. That is a functional woodworking table as well. Like, obviously not in this space, but it is if you don't cover it in crap. But I just wanted to like, just throw everything on the floor. Because again, these boys had actual trash on their floor. So we were gonna lean into that. when you can't grab something like you set it down in the wrong spot and then you can't grab it so you have to like undo it's annoying taking screenshots of this room was so hard too like it was a challenge because this is just such a tight tight space and going around that corner it was too much it was too much too much I did it but like at what cost I also made sure to include the mirror because he did have a mirror in his original room. I think he's a little vain. So that was important. There's this little mood music. I do move that. I don't, it doesn't stay there, but I have that card catalog thing sitting outside just in case I change my mind because that white table that I put the stereo on, I wasn't super sure on. We've got the cassettes because I feel like he makes mixtapes for the girls that he likes. And then he's got like a little blackberry. I started working on his art table. Since it's not functional, it doesn't matter what side of the desk it's gonna be on anyways. I really wanna use this plant. I haven't been able to yet. I don't get to use it in this room either, although it would have been really great for it because it's like a woman and sculpture and he's an artist, but just, it doesn't, it didn't work because she doesn't go on OMSPs. She has to go on a table. all the tables I had like it just didn't work didn't work I was very upset so now we're getting into probably my favorite part of the room which is his art desk I was annoyed that I was putting things here and I couldn't reach them because it's stupid arch but we figured it out figured it out but yeah I just I've downloaded so much art clutter and I know um I did have another sim that was like into art it was rip grunt was like into drawing whereas I see Romeo does more painting and more like watercolors because there's all different kinds of art and obviously you can have sims be into the same hobby and it's fine I've just been trying to avoid doing like for example Ophelia I don't want to have two sims that make soap in this little series that I'm doing 
Like, yes, would two people make soap? Probably, but like, realistically, let's just, you've seen the soap set. It is gorgeous, but like, you don't need to see it again. That was the main thing. It's just showcasing different sets, like this watercolor set I hadn't actually been able to show you yet. I don't know why those trays, like the very bottom of them, that's why I had to use different OMSP, like the very bottom of them clipped when you're just regularly replacing them. Give him like a little sketchbook. I didn't want it to be too neat because again, this is, he is a slob, so we need to make sure that we are not taking that away from him. <laughs> Heaven forbid we clean it up. I'm glad I got used to that figurine. It's actually a Maxis figurine, that little fine arts running guy. But I was glad I got to. I also you notice his little pencil case has a fox on it. I'm gonna guess he either snagged it from his older brother or like inherited it from his older brother because sometimes that would happen with me. Like I would get things passed down. Like my brother would get something new and I would get the older thing that he had. So that's why I decided. I was like, that's kind of cute. I'll give him the little fox. Or maybe Mercutio bought it for him. You never know. I definitely wanted more painting clutter on the floor. Because again, I just feel like he just plops stuff on the floor in general. I have a lot of artist clutter. Like, I could probably do a whole big artist studio at this point. And I'm fine with that. I like it. I wanted to use this picture so bad, but it doesn't go any higher then it's high as, that's as high as it goes. I'm like, really? Rude. I also wanted to include some kind of like baked goods, because like I said, I see him as someone who like probably helps his grandmother bake. And she probably bakes a lot for him too, so even though he has like body image issues, like at the same time he also really enjoys like sweets and high carb foods like breads and pastas and things, so like that's a struggle that he has. Next up are all the patented seduction items. I didn't have too many, mostly just candles, to be honest, which, fair, if you're a teenage boy, that's what you're thinking. Yeah, this is me trying to find and just finally just let it go. Let it go. This lamp thing also was being difficult, but it worked. Because, yeah, he's got to light the candles, have a little mood lighting. I ended up deleting the incense because I was like, yeah, I don't think he would have quite everything. But you see what I mean with the walls? Like, I struggle with this the whole time. The whole time. Whole time. I still couldn't decide where that guitar was going. I'm pretty sure I keep it. Now watch, I talked about the guitar the whole time and then it goes away. I put just the, the cold sore medicine and the diet pill medicine here. Not really medicine, supplements, I guess. And now begins the great cluttering of his room. Because I can't do Mercutio dirty and have Rom Romeo have like a nicer room than him. That's all neat and tidy. There's no way. Nope. I also wanted the rooster statue because it was funny to me. Even though it doesn't really go with anything. I'm gonna guess Mercutio got it for him and Romeo does not get what the joke is. And that's fine. That's fine. It's funny to me. I wanted to give him like a basket of like blankets and pillows so like maybe he's cuddling up with a girl that he likes and oh let's snuggle up in the blanket. I know he doesn't have a TV there but they could be watching something like on their phones. really know why but some some items I just kind of keep not again not necessarily because it's part of their character but like a suitcase because everyone kind of has a suitcase or a baseball bat maybe he played baseball for a little a couple years and doesn't really do it anymore but he's still got the bat that kind of thing just to make it a little bit more realistic in terms of 
we all have stuff that we just have that we're not really like, we're like, I don't really know, maybe someone got it for you, that kind of thing. I definitely wanted to give him some condoms because he's a romance sim and we gotta be responsible. Gonna hide it behind his little lamp thing. I had a skateboard, but I decided not to keep it. I do give him a little pipe and some weed under his bed. Hey, it's legal in some places. It could be legal in The Sims. And then I really want, I've been wanting to use these pictures in pretty much every single spot and I finally was like, okay, I can use them now. It brings me joy that I got to use them. Okay, good. I was like, I hope I kept the guitar. I, I made such a big deal about it. It would be very silly if I suddenly was like, eh, delete. I've done that a few times. This is when I realized that the walkthrough OMSP was the problem with Earlier I had tried it and it kept going on to something, well it goes on top of things. The other LMSP does not. I just kind of put that paint in, kind of crammed it in between. And now my favorite part slash my least favorite part because of the way the walls in his room work. Posters. I wanted to be a bit conservative with how many that I used. I definitely wanted to use this sketchy one. It's kind of hard because the shadow is, but I definitely wanted to use it. I wanted to use like this cool body one. Also this watercolor sampler thing. Also really, really like these. I think I used them in one of them in Dirk Dreamer's room, the Mario one, but, which I guess if I wanted to be really funny, I should have used it in here. But. I just like them, especially because he does woodworking. It looks like something he possibly could have made himself, and then maybe Mercutio made the strings for him. And then as far as posters go, I've got band posters for sure, but also lots of women was, was, the, was the heavy focus for me when it came to posters that I wanted to include in Romeo's room. And again, I'm trying to use different band posters I'm sure that I end up accidentally using the same here and there, but I tried. Like this one I think I've used before. I actually think I used it in Mercutio's room. But hey, it's a band poster. It's fine. The Sims team used the same one in all of their rooms, so... I also like that little speech bubble thing. But yeah, I go pretty light on the posters. It just, it didn't feel right to do any more, and then... Now I'm going to add a bunch of trash because, yeah. I wanted to use this rug. I wanted to use it so bad. And it was so difficult the entire time. It kept clipping with things. It was jumping up. It was behaving like an object. I was unhappy with that, but it looks really good. I'm just kind of throwing comics elsewhere. This is where we throw a bunch of clothes on the floor and just ha go ham. Yeah, I'm curious what you guys think of Romeo's room. Um, if you think I kind of gave him a bit more to go on than just the cute teen boy who's dating the, his family's enemy. Uh, what do you guys do with him? Do you actually have him stay with Juliet? Do you, like, what's that dynamic like? I'm just, cur I'm very curious what people do with the pre-maids in their games if they actually play with them because it, I like the pre-maids. They're interesting to me. Since we all have them, like, we all get to do something with them. All right, we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough. As you can see, those two are hanging out. Yeah, we can see his little workbench, little makeout spot, his artist's corner here, and then his bed, all the posters on the wall. I really like how this turned out. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>